study in detecting evolutionary hotspots in software systems. I wish to start by discussing about software modularity. The complexity of the software systems depend on the set of requirements. Requirements evolve continuously with time such as upgrading to higher versions. A good modular design should be placing similar functionalities within a module and limiting interactions across module. So the central question that motivates us is to characterize these effects of the local evolutionary changes on the overall system design. A study by Miguel et al on the evolution of Debian GNU or Linux operating system is quite insightful. A study by Jeff Kloon et al stated that a biological network is modular if it contains highly connected clusters of nodes that are spatially connected to nodes in other clusters. So based on the studies it is fair to say that local changes to the system lead to an increase in modularity of the software systems. So the main question which we answer in this study is can these time points at which such seismic changes occur in the network leading to a modular structure be identified? We present a methodology to distinguish the points in time where significant evolutionary changes occur in the system. We characterize the evolutionary hotspots in the GNU octave from the year 1993 to 2019 using our methodology. Source code for each month was processed using understand and the functional dependencies were identified across the files for every month. The data is processed to obtain a network in which each file is a node. A pair of nodes connected by an edge represents the dependency based on the labels of the edge. The edges are labeled with disjoint time intervals from 1993 to 2019. So we obtained a network. This is the network which shows us the incoming and outgoing of the edges for each year from 1993 to 2019 so as as it is showing now so ours is a two step approach so in step 1 the step 1 is performed using the method in Benkozy et al to identify the modules in the network if n is the number of files then if files i and j are in the same module m, then the cost of the dependency existing between the files i and j is the entry of ij in the matrix exponential of the functional dependency matrix A multiplied by sm square, where s of m is the sum of is the number of files in the module m. If files i and j are in different modules, then the cost is n square. At the start, each file belongs to its own module. The total cost is the sum of the cost of all dependencies given the modular structure. The modular structure is improved using local search. The algorithm improves the local move in every iteration until no local move can further decrease the cost beyond the threshold. The resultant is a clustering matrix where we can find the module information of each file. We use the method of Kleinberg in finding the burst of occurrence of significant events. We have used the two-state automaton to model the process of generation of dependencies. The states corresponds to high and low volumes. Given a state sequence, the continuous time, when the automation is in high state, corresponds to a significant burst of dependencies. Costs are associated with state transitions. Finding the minimum cost path across the states gives us the state sequence. Coming to the results. This table shows number of dependencies, its cost, its number of modules for each year. There were a total of 497,000 dependencies recorded. So the, num the number of modules increased from 12 in, 19 in the year 1912 from in the year 1993 to 66 in the year 2019. So there were three periods. Uh, the number of modules increased monotonically for three periods. The first period where Eaton was the lone developer is from year 1993 to 1998 where Eaton was the sole developer. From the year 2001, GNU Octave underwent open development so due to major releases like in the year 2005, due to the major releases the cost is improved and also the number of modules are increased. Similarly, the third period from year 2015 to 2019 so the number of the system becomes more stable as the number of even because the number of modules are stable 
from 64 to 66 over the years previous pre- recent years our results are consistent with the observation made by miguel et al so this figure shows the arrival and the removal bus across the years from the year 1993 to 2019 this is our references thank you